Hey guys, welcome back to the acne channel. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about body acne, specifically back acne and chest acne and how we can combat this. So back acne is typically caused by a buildup of oil and dead skin. The pores become clogged and bacteria starts to thrive and this causes back acne. It is generally believed that people that have oilier skin types and people that suffer from conditions like polycystic ovarian syndrome are more prone to body acne and back acne. Although body acne is not on your face, it can still be very upsetting for people and can really affect people's confidence levels, which is why there are so many options to try and get rid of it. One general change you can make is swapping out your current body wash. You should look for body washes that contain salicylic acid, which is a BHA which exfoliates the skin's surface layer and unblocks pores. Another ingredient you should look for is glycolic acid which is an AHA that dissolves the upper layer of dead skin cells. Lastly, lactic acid is also an AHA you should look for, which also helps with exfoliating the skin. Lactic acid is a little bit more gentle on the skin, so if you do have sensitive skin and you're prone to irritation, maybe opt for one that has lactic acid as opposed to glycolic or salicylic acid. Another important tip to reduce the amount of back acne you're guessing is to shower immediately after your workout. So after you work out, excess sweat means that bacteria thrives on your skin. That's why it's really important to shower directly after to avoid this bacteria building up, clogging the pores and causing red bumps. Another thing to note when you are showering is to be careful that your shampoo and conditioner isn't going too much on your back. I know this can be very hard to combat because if you do have long hair like me, it's always right on your back. But just make sure that you're using your body cleanser after your hair to make sure that you're scrubbing properly and making sure that there's no conditioner and shampoo. It may also be effective to use a scrub. So you can use a physical body scrub which helps to remove dead skin. This will be good to use several times a week but not every day as this can be quite harsh on the skin and may cause further irritation and inflammation. The scrub that I recommend most is one that has AHAs and BHAs in, like I have mentioned, which help to penetrate deeper into the skin, whereas a physical scrub only really gets the dead skin off the top layer of the skin. Another tip is to make sure you're using the right moisturiser for your body. So thick body moisturisers that contain coconut oils and heavy oils are usually not too good for your skin and you should opt for a more lighter cream as this may be more beneficial for your back acne. Like I've mentioned before, you should look out for ingredients like salicylic acid, glycolic acid and also benzoyl peroxide. These are all ingredients that can be found in moisturizers and will really help with your back acne. You should also look for creams that are non-comodogenic, which means that they won't clog your pores and cause more inflammation and acne. Another key tip is to not pick or squeeze your spots. Make sure you're not picking your spots and instead opt for a treatment or go to your dermatologist and ask them for a topical solution that you can put on your spots on your back or your chest to help instead of picking and making it worse. Picking at your spots can also lead to hyperpigmentation, which is something that's very difficult to get rid of, so you should always avoid picking. If you're wearing tight clothes a lot of the day, it is more common for your skin to build up oil and your pores to get clogged. This is why it's important when you get in from work or get in from school or get in from the gym, that you immediately take your clothes off and put on a looser, baggier fitting pair of clothes. Tight clothing can trap bacteria and dirt, which increases the chances of body acne forming. Certain fabrics like wool, nylon and spandex can increase inflammation. So try and avoid clothes that have these kind of fabrics in them. Another common form of body acne is chest acne. Chest acne is very common and it's similar to back acne. Like I've mentioned with back acne, it's really important to use a body wash that has acne fighting ingredients. You can also try spot treatments. As your chest is a more accessible area for treatments, you may be able to use some of the spot treatments that you use on your face, also on your chest. So as a roundup, it's important to make sure you're looking at the ingredients in your body washes. Make sure that they've got exfoliating ingredients in, 
such as salicylic acid. It's important to shower directly after you exercise so that the buildup of dirt and oil isn't getting into your pores. It's also important to make sure that you're exfoliating your skin at least once a week to make sure that you're getting rid of all the dead skin cells on your skin. I hope that this video was helpful and I hope that let us know in the comments below what your favourite treatment is for your body acne. 